So hey, Josh Cantwell back again with strategicrealestatecoach.com. And people often ask me, what are the key mistakes that we should avoid in order to make sure that we're constantly making big profits on properties? And I was talking with my head coach. We came up with the top 10 mistakes that kill real estate profits. Number one was poor planning. When you step into a new investment property, let's say you get your offer accepted today. Well, you're gonna have about two to three weeks until you close on the property, until you actually buy it. You essentially have three weeks to do proper planning. Make sure that you've been able to review with your contractor multiple times the budget, the schedule, and the scope of work because every single day that you own that property, it's costing you money. It's costing you property taxes, utilities, maybe financing costs. So make sure that several times before closing, you and your contractor are on the exact same page. And on day one, the project is started. Number two, missing the after repaired value. Now, how can you make sure that you hit the after repaired value? Well, make sure you do your own value. Ask your real estate agent who's gonna list your property, what did they think the list value was gonna be? And number three, you can also get an appraisal done by a licensed appraiser to make sure that you get that value. You can also visit open houses of other houses in the area to make sure that your house is gonna have as good or better finishes than the subject comparables that you're comparing to. Number three, the under budgeting, the repairs. You have three weeks before you close to make sure that you and your contractor, whether you're doing a light rehab or a full rehab, make sure you understand exactly what's going in there so that there's not last minute changes because every dollar you go over budget is a dollar that's less profit for you. Number four, add-ins, additional costs or changes to the budget. You know, there's times when I've been in a house and after we've already started the work, we thought, well, hey, what if we open up this kitchen? What if we remove this wall? Well, hey, every time there's an add-on, you're adding to your budget and you're reducing your profit. The number five mistake is financing costs. Most budgets, a lot of people don't factor in the interest costs. Again, every single day it's costing you money. So make sure you factor in your financing costs. What I typically pay my investors and private lenders is 12% interest or 15% of our profit, whichever is higher. Okay, whichever is higher. So I have to bake that into my budget. Number six, holding costs, things like property taxes, utilities, water, sewer, electric, gas, especially when it's cold outside. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. We have really cold winters. What about insurance? Are you paying for builders risk insurance? Those policies are very expensive. They can cost, you know, $2,000 or more for a builder's risk policy. Make sure you factor that in for your holding costs. Number seven, and this is a big one, is days missed by contractors. What a lot of contractors do is they end up building in other projects and they miss days on your job because they're doing other jobs. So make sure at the beginning, when you are working with your contractor, have them commit to swarming on your property, working at your property from start to finish and not jumping on and off the job site. The number eight mistake is when contractors mark up the cost of materials. If you can go buy it at Menards or Home Depot or Lowe's or your local building supply store at cost and potentially get you know, a 10, 20, 30% discount because you have a commercial account there, make sure that's what you're paying. Don't allow your contractor to also upcharge the materials. The number nine thing that kills real estate profits is when buyers flake out. The mortgage companies have gotten very good at making sure that buyers are pre-qualified meaning they've submitted their tax returns, bank statements, pay stubs, their personal financial information, pre-approvals, they're not worth the paper they're printed on. Make sure people are pre-qualified for a mortgage so that when they write an offer on your house, all they need to do is take the property and turn in the address of the property that they're buying and they can close quickly. Finally, number 10. When properties don't sell fast, it can kill real estate profits. The people that sell houses fast are typically 
your really high powered, very active, you know, realtors that sell most of the houses. Make sure you hire one of those high powered realtors to sell your house or go the opposite end of the spectrum and just pay a flat fee listing agent, you know, a couple hundred bucks to put your property on the market and you do the marketing and you do the property launch. So you should be running the property launch formula the way we teach it. It's a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to prepare, launch, and sell a house. So those are the 10 mistakes that kill real estate profits. Certainly, we're guilty of a lot of those. Over the last 10 years, we've made all those mistakes. And so that's why I put this training together for you so that you don't make those mistakes on your next deal.